big league guys need to need to teach minor league guys. Minor league guys need to listen to the big league guys. The ongoing saga within the players union features so many, you know, released statements and I mean, for me, the way I was reading it publicly, you have someone that helped get the minor leaguers unionized in Harry Marino. It sounds like there were players that were trying to get number two in command, Bruce Meyer, out of there. And it led to a lot of, I'd say, open discussions. And it sounds like it's settled for the most part now. And I mean, from the statement that, that I got on the Tony Clark side, it's it's settled and it has to do with the current group in place. So he said for decades, the bedrock of the MLBPA has been an engaged membership that does not bend to outside agendas. If therefore, uh, it therefore comes as no surprise that a coordinated and covert effort to challenge this foundation has troubled players at all levels of professional baseball. These concerns are being discussed where they should be in clubhouses around the league. In due time, they be, they will be resolved consistent with the traditions of this great organization. And there's one other part here that you don't see if you're watching the show on YouTube right now that's listed, but it was a statement about Harry Marino, who you know, has basically become a rival here, right? Because he's trying to upend what's going on with Tony and Bruce's situation. And well, I'll be able to pull up the statement here real quick. He said, quote, this is from Tony, who released a statement that was unanimously authorized by the subcommittee members, which is eight other players that are heavily involved within the union, including players like Jack Flaherty. Um, oh, Marcus Semien, Francisco Lindor, Lance McCullers, Lucas Giolito, Austin Slater, Brent Suter, and Ian Happ. Here's the quote. We still have issues to discuss, but one thing clear among the MLB executive subcommittee members is that this is no longer a Harry Marino discussion in any respect. Because Marino was trying to talk even a few days ago about, you know, maybe working with Tony. And I, I would say they're pretty pissed off. And uh, that relationship, in my mind, is probably over. Those two are not going to work together. And he wasn't working with the PA. Now you guys go. Because you're the players. You guys have, have seen what what's they, going what's, on here. Scott, what's the saying? You take a shot at the king, you better not miss. <laughs> right? Marino took a shot. He tried to get the, the, the minor league guys to do it. And they missed. And now, guess what, Harry? You had your shot. You can try to make it, but it ain't happening now, pal, because now you pissed off players. And, and, the, and the report, oh, I find it interesting, too. I also saw some reports where, the, you know, he's trying to say that players are bullying other players. And, like, I, I, as a former player, like, we were always solid as far as uh, the union stuff came. Like, there was discussions about it, but it was solid. Like, we are behind each and every player, and we stand for the players. So, I, it's almost like – Marino knew he missed the king, and he and he lost his opportunity. So now he's trying to spin it into into a different thing for the union, and that's just not going to work. The players will come together and be like, "Yo, bro, nice try, go kick rocks." I'd like to see what what his. I'd like to hear his side of it more too. I want to hear what his like. Was he trying to oust? You know, guys that were on the executive committee too. Was he trying to like? band together the minor league guys and the up and down guys because i feel like they are and i was one of those an underrepresented group of the of the players association but it is a group you are part of an elite group of people whether you're in the minor leagues or the big leagues and if somebody's trying to come in and like hey why don't you go and say say this about these people like if it's under if it's undermining, you don't want that guy anyway. Anybody tries to undermine somebody else by using you, steer clear because they'll undermine you at some point too. So if that's what happened, I, I'm I want to hear what what Harry said, but we'll see. I just well, Kratz, he, Kratz, here's yeah. Hold on, I, I, here's my thing, Kratz. It's no offense, and listen, the minor leaguers are very important, and I get they feed the major leagues, but it is the Major League Baseball Players Association. And they fight for major league rights. And I know they brought in the minor leaguers as part of it. But I feel like it's almost like, yes, they are a part of it. But they should be a smaller part of it. Because, again, it's the Major League Baseball's Players Association. And the Major League Baseball Union and the players and the teams of Major League Baseball are the ones that are funding the minor league. So the fact and – and we've discussed this on the show. And I am not disrespecting minor leaguers at all. But 
you know, for big leaguers to have 38 votes, minor leaguers to have 34 votes, that seems like a lot to me because that seems like it should be a higher number for big leaguers and a lower number for minor leaguers because, again, it's the Major League Baseball Players Association. And I understand minor leaguers need rights and they deserve rights because, listen, I struggled through the minor leagues just like everybody else making 800 bucks a month before taxes, and they took 400 out a month for living. So I was making 400 bucks a month before tax. I was getting a check every two weeks for like 100 bucks. So listen, I, I get it, and their conditions have vastly improved since I was there, but there's also there should be no way that this could happen. Yeah, no, you have to, and I think, and I think it's. I mean, apparently the music agrees. That was that was the that was the music saying you you dropped the mic on that one. No, I I, I completely agree with you, but I, I think the voting is fine, thirty eight to thirty four. Like yeah, but me, all it takes is three. It takes three guys to switch sides, and it changes, right? I I, hear, I I hear what you're saying, but to me, if you're having sides. In voting, I think it's you're 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 missing the boat. Big league guys, it just, it just happened though. That's the problem. Big league guys need to need to teach minor league guys. Minor league guys need to listen to the big league guys. And now that they're together, if they can push in the same direction, it will raise the it will raise the game. It will raise things for players it will raise you know benefits for players and it can't be just something that is like two sides if it's two sides then they have to work work that out and maybe maybe that's how maybe that's how harry saw his chance to to move on up in in the organization but that's that i hope that wasn't you know his ultimate goal I, I did speak to some people on the minor league side that that tried to say it's it's not coming from them, right? Yeah. So there were a lot of you know quote and this is in stories like in the athletic rank and file players that were part of that group that was trying to you know start the mutiny coup whatever you want to call it, right? So there's major league players involved in this situation as well, um, but it looks like a lot of it has been settled now. Um, so I, I thought it was very interesting what played out over the last several days. The question I had for you guys to wrap this up, AJ, plays off what you just said. I love that the minor leaguers have a union now to stand up for them to get better conditions, better pay, the whole deal. That was well, 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 well overdue. They were getting treated like shit and not like full-time employees, and we know that they could not pick up another job in the meantime. It was crazy. But should they be too kind of separate worlds like should they operate completely separately because right now they are together and you know, 38 votes no. for the majors 34 for the minors they should all be together I, I think they should be together and i think what kratz said okay. is important major leaguers should be around minor leaguers to help teach them but i think that that's what it should be because there are way more minor league players that don't make the big leagues than there are major leaguers right so i i think that that is where the biggest uh miss is right now is that you know, again, the, the the minor leaguers are very important because they feed the major leagues. But at the same time, the major leaguers are where all the money is made. There, nobody's making money in the minor leagues, player wise. I mean, yeah, you're making some money, but they need to be taught. So, should they be together? Yes, but I think it it shouldn't be as close as it is. We're 30, 38, 34. I mean, you switch two guys, it's thirty six, thirty six. You switch another guy. The minor leaguers have a majority, 37, 35, and that's just – that shouldn't be that close to where it could happen that quickly, and they make a decision for a guy. You know, you have a guy in A-ball making a decision for Mike Trout who's been in the big leagues for 10-plus years, and they're like, oh, well, how, that guy doesn't know Tony Clark. He doesn't know Bruce Meyer. He just hears stuff from Harry Marino, and that's why it's like, wait a minute. They should be associated, but it's got to be a different gap to where it doesn't happen. In case in case there's dissension. No, I, I hear what you're exactly. saying. I hear, exactly. I hear what you're saying. And, and what Scotty said about rank and file guys, that has been for years. My one gripe with the union is the lack of representation from the middle class of players. And I think Harry saw that, and maybe he latched on to those guys trying to get them what he saw was a way, a way in. And the biggest thing, you can't have two factions in one group, but I think they should be together because the minor leaguers, as you've seen for years, have zero power 
without the umbrella of the big the MLB PA. And I think it is great by the PA to extend out to the minor leaguers and the minor leaguers need to learn. And the sooner you have more young guys coming up to the big leagues that have learned what's going on with the PA in the minor leagues, because before you were never allowed to be any part of it. It was very restrictive to just big league guys. Now they're going to learn and they're going to get to the big leagues and they're going to be stronger as a group. Yeah, and I want whoever the league hates the most on my side. You know, like there, there were multiple reports in some of these stories that the league doesn't like working with Bruce Meyer. You know, like Sign the up. other side, I'd be like, well, that's my hero. I, I'm not going to act like I know everything going on behind the scenes, but some people that are bothered about that, the last CBA deal was worlds better than the one before, was it not? It was. Right. Bruce so wasn't did there. That? Tony. I don't know. I mean, I don't. I don't know exactly everything going on, but the fact that that's the guy that they would target—that's the guy that came in, who's worked with every union, who the league was finally like, "Oh shit!" That's exactly what you want if you're in a fight. You know, Tony came. That's what bargaining's Tony, about? Tony knew it. Tony knew it, and he went out and got Bruce soon after the last CBA. And to me, I think that was his best move. In. Since he has been the um, since he has been the head of the PA, bringing in Bruce Meyer, and we spent the five years up until the most recent CBA that was the end of my career, building arguments, building continuity as a PA, as a players association, and it was around what Bruce can do and the negotiations that he can bring to the table. And to me, I think you saw a big swing a little bit back in the player's favor from all that was lost from this previous CBA. Hey, everybody. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content. We're back here every weekday, all year long, so do not miss an episode. The videos are coming in all day. Here's another video you might enjoy. Baseball the way it should be covered.